Hello everyone to another Katan video here on colonist.io and to my road to top 100 series. Uh, before I analyze the board, I would request everyone to please subscribe to my channel. Uh, the growth has been pretty slow. Uh, that said, I am still pretty motivated to keep posting these videos. Um, but uh, getting a few subscribers and increase in viewers will surely be a good plus for the channel. Yeah, anyway, let's get back to the game now. Uh, here, surely 695 seems to be a very strong spot. Uh, although ore and brick do not coordinate too well together, but the production is just huge. Uh, 854 seems to be an excellent spot as well. And I think actually I like 854 a lot. Grabbing a very strong wheat, uh, the best brick and a strong wood production is pretty good here. 946 might also be a pretty good option. That said, I mean, actually, I also like 964 quite a bit. Yeah, so black does go for 845, which makes complete sense. Uh, the reason I was saying I like 946 as well is because of the access to the wheat port. And there is a lot of wheat production available on this board. So that could be a good strategy on this board. Here for me in the fourth position, I find it very difficult to grab all five resources for sure. That said, I mean, yeah, so orange goes for 695. That seems to be a good spot as well, especially with the production. And uh, so I will obviously get something like 834 or 694 here. I will be more than happy to get 694. And then I can pair it up with something like 834 here or even 8510. Try and get to the wood port and the wheat port. Okay, but red goes for that option. And because it's very difficult for me to get any brick production. I think I need to focus on getting strong or wheat cheap on this board. And that's why I'm considering a setup something like 8310 and uh, 6311. Point to the left. Yeah. Although red might be able to go for 411. But I think it is fine. I can take that risk. And with 8310, I think I'll just point downwards. Going towards 84. Although 84 is a good production spot, uh, I don't need the wheat, uh, the wood port at all. I'm considering if I should go for something like um, 834 and. Um, 6311, that is surely a choice that I have. But then red gets 8510, which seems to be very, very good with their setup. So I wouldn't want to let that go there. In any case, if I go for 8310 myself, red will most likely go for 84 directly. And the 8 wheat will be blocked quite a bit. So it's difficult in this case. Yeah, I think 8 wheat will be blocked quite a bit along with the 6 ore. So we I should have double wheat production. And I will just point downwards. I believe red will most likely go for 8 4 here. And. Yeah, for my second placement, I think just 6311 seems completely all right. My other option is going for 910, but um, 6311 does seem a little better. And I will point towards the 3 to 1 port. Uh, 
black might go for 411 but um, yeah i mean i think red here might go for either 9 10 11 or 8 4 8 4 seems a better option for red and red can just point downwards as well so I might face some competition when it comes to getting the 8-5 spot. And if red doesn't go for 8-4, I think orange might go for it. So in any case, I might face some challenge on the 8-4. 4-11, not so much. Orange might also go for something like 8-3 here. That seems to be a fine uh, option. Yeah, so as expected, red does go for 8-4 and point their own downwards. So now orange can actually go for 9-10-11 or 8-3. I think 9-10-11 seems a little better for orange. And then I can only hope that black goes for 6-2 I mean black can also go for 4-11 but that would be pretty bad for my setup 6-2 uh, is much better choice according to me just because it blocks red who already has a very very strong setup yeah. and this looks pretty nice like Red, blue, orange and red all pointing their road downwards. Yeah, so red, black does go for 6-2. Exactly what I would have wanted there. So on this board, I think my first choice would be to get to the 3-1 to board. And... Um, yeah, I think just blocking both red and black seems fine. I will steal from black just because black is the only one who has any break and luckily I am able to steal it. So that's pretty good for me. Your black rolls the 7, I think black will just block the 6 over steal from me. Unfortunately steals my wood. It's a resource I don't produce a lot of. Yeah, this doesn't look to be a great trade for me because I have a lot of wheat production and I don't need to be hasty to get that. Yeah, if not, I don't think I'll trade with orange. Orange is very close to getting a city. Hopefully I can roll another seven. I roll a four here, so I don't get much. Yeah. Now if orange rolls a seven, both red and black, orange would have lost a few cards but that doesn't happen and I think orange will just go for a city because a few nines have rolled uh, let's see if I can get a 1 is to 2 here or a 1 is to 1 yeah it seems like orange doesn't want to go for any other trade except for the one that he's offering and with the amount of wheat that everyone produces, I don't think anybody will want that trade here. Yeah, this seems fine. Uh, let me be a little more greedy. I think I'll accept it. I don't mind the orange going for a dev card. Yeah. Red does roll a 7. I think red will block the 5 break. Or red should block the 5 break. I don't know what red will do here. Yeah, it does block the 5 break. I think that is completely fine. And with red already having a city at this point, I might target red. A 4 did roll, so red has word. Oh, I don't, I'm not able to steal it which is a little unfortunate at this point but I think it's alright 
let's see if i can get a trade for break yeah red doesn't produce any break so i'll just end my turn so i would want a 3 and a 10 to roll that way i can just do a 4 is to 1 and get my settlement on the 411 spot 8 is fine as well so now if a 3 rolls i will be able to okay 3 doesn't roll here so let's see if i can get this trade i believe orange might be open to accepting this trade just because i'm offering a 1 is to 2 here yeah orange does accept it i think it's fine so now i do have double overproduction and double wheat production yeah but these nines are huge for orange at this point quite a few of them have already rolled let's see what orange goes for yeah i mean orange can go for at least two dev cards on this turn just because i did offer a two is to one yeah instead orange just goes for a city which is completely all right and here i can also go for a city although the six ore will be blocked quite a bit and i think because the 6 ore will be blocked quite a bit, I will go for a city on 8310. Yeah, here black rolls a 7, so orange loses out on a few cards. And black will most likely block the 6 ore. Cannot steal from me, which is a good thing. Blocks the 9 wheat, wow. Really surprising there. Here, yeah, I mean, I would surely say that I am being a little lucky here, not being targeted. Yeah. Wow, 3 is an excellent role for me, giving me rare sheep. Would want a few 6s and a 4 to roll as well. Uh, let's see if I can get any ore. Yeah, I don't need wood anymore. So, I think orange will be able to get a road and a settlement, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I unfortunately roll a 7, so... Here, I think I will hold on to the cards that give me a dev card here. And targeting orange is completely alright. I get more wheat, so maybe I could have given up on a wheat here. And I get a knight, exactly the card that I'm looking for. I would want a few more sixes to roll. Or maybe, maybe fours are better as well. Just so that I can get a city on 6311. And that would be very, very good for me. I think orange will target me here. Yeah, does target me. On my turn, I think blocking orange is completely fine. I do get ore, so that's so now a 6 or a 4 or a 11 will basically give me a city. I roll an 8 instead. So let's see if I can get this trade. Or if I can get the other way around, that would be fine as well. Uh, 
Yeah, because I'm not getting any trades, I think I'll just do a 3 to 1. Now that I already have my two cities, I think I will completely focus on getting dev cards. Red roll the 7 and I think red will block the 6 or steal from me. I don't mind if my wood is stolen, wouldn't want my wheat to be stolen here. Yeah, does steal my word, yeah. So that's good for me. And yeah, unfortunately the six is blocked or else I could have had a dev card here. Black rolls the seven. I think black has to block the 10 wheat. So these sevens are not good for my game. Especially because people will start targeting me. And I surely need to start ge getting dev cards. Yeah. Here a 3 would be a fine roll for me. I would not mind a 6. Either if a six rolls, I think my only option is to go for a city on 411 spot. Yeah, I don't agree with orange there, but I will not be. Yeah, I will not participate in that discussion just yet. I mean, he is not completely incorrect with having some sheep production will be helpful. But I believe uh, black is also in a very strong position. Your red is also targeting me, which is a little unfortunate. I think at this point I might start blocking the 9 ore and target black a little. This trade seems completely fine. That basically gives me a dev card, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think I'll just go for a dev card. I do get a knight, which is pretty good. I uh, wouldn't mind if black rolls a 7 here, rolls the 6, unfortunately the 6 ore being blocked is not good here. And another 6 rolls. Yeah, I think I will start blocking black on the 6 sheep tile. The only, ben the only problem with Orange's setup is he does not have any ports. So he always has to do a 4 is to 1. And I don't think a lot of 5s have rolled either. But um, yeah, Orange can also sneakily get the longest road if a few fives roll. Has to do a 4 is to 1. Yeah, I as expected. I would want a... I'm not sure what I want here. Yeah, 5 does roll there. So here, I will target black. I get a brick which is not what I wanted but it's alright. A 3 rolls so I believe I just have to go for another dev card. I get a year, year of plenty that is pretty good here. Should help me get a road and settlement. Wow these 3's are huge. So 
so yeah orange is targeting me which is a little unfortunate but it's not unexpected and luckily i don't roll any sevens here i can go for a couple of dev cards or the other option is going for a road and a settlement i think getting a couple of dev cards is more important at this point especially i because i am being targeted quite a lot and let's see if i can get this trade or something like this might be fine as well uh one is to one doesn't make any sense to me uh black accepts this okay so actually i can just play my year of plenty here get a couple of woods and just get a road and a settlement and i also end up with zero cards in hand so even if i would actually like orange to roll a seven here just so that he loses out on a few cards yeah i think black is getting very scary at this point so now i don't think i need to focus on getting any more uh settlements i can get a city on 411 if needed but i should only focus on getting dev cards yeah these all are excellent trades uh, i not sure anybody has any sheep though plays a dev card so will block me steals my word yeah and maybe orange might be able to win the game soon enough ends their turn actually so here i think my only option is to play a dev card and as i said i will block the nine over i am stealing from black just because orange has eight cards so hopefully i roll a seven unfortunately i don't so my only choice here is to go for another dev card i am getting these knights which is good for me yeah hoping that orange rolls a 7 or else it might be game over pretty soon yeah fours haven't rolled this game or else black could have had the longest road yeah black is thinking about it I'm not sure how they can make much progress though yeah I'm not sure if black is going to do anything i think they are just wasting time at this point that said i'm still hoping that orange rolls a 7 here because if orange loses out on five cards pretty sure orange will not be able to get a settlement in this turn and i will surely try and get the largest army soon enough wow does roll a 7 so that's a huge seven at this point yeah especially having to give up 
all those cards does steal my ore so might be able to get another dev card goes for a city okay yeah blocking the six is completely all right and here i think my only choice yeah i think blocking brick is fine yeah i do not have any other option so i'll just end my turn wouldn't mind if a 4 is rolled a 2 is rolled that is i think even better so black should be able to get a road on this turn and orange might not be able to do anything yeah especially because an 8 rolled here so that's pretty good red might play a dev card if they have it rolls a 7 will block the 6 or and should steal from orange especially because orange here is already on 9 points yeah i don't mind orange being double targeted here i think i'll roll my die before i make any move and i yeah now just play my knight and because orange is no longer a big threat to me i think i will just target So red here i do get sheep that's excellent so here i think just going for a couple of dev cards is fine i get a victory point so all i need is a single city and that will give me the win so basically at this point i have a win in hand i believe red might have a monopoly as well with this nine the best orange might be able to do is get another city yeah does do that red plays a knight so steals from me and a 10 is rolled so yeah that's just gg here yeah not enough is completely fine so a pretty good win there for me I think my setup was very strong on this board. Uh Orange surely made a mistake by going for 695 first. I mean, although it's a very strong production spot, but um but I think still it's very hard to get a good uh, coordination of brick and ore on that board. Yeah, dice eight also did roll quite a bit. Eight and six both rolled quite a lot. Tens also helped me and orange make a progress very easily. Threes were huge for me, although they rolled only four times. Uh, getting all that sheep helped me get get dev cards easily. Yeah, very few fours. I did mention that. Also, very few fives. I think that was a good thing, or else orange could have won the game quite some time back. Yeah. Also, nine rolled only four times, but it feels a lot more. I think it rolled on early on in the game. Ten surely seems an outlier, but it's completely fine. So, yeah, overall, a pretty decent game. Red had a VP, and I had a VP. so number of times trade proposed is orange offered quite a few trades there uh, amount of resources used yeah i did a lot of 3s to 1s to get dev cards amount of resources blocked for me was the highest yeah because i was targeted on 6 and 8 and also on 3 a few times but i don't think so i lost any resources on 3 also 10s but yeah overall I think my production was just too good 
with uh, and also my resources were very coordinating with orv cheap focused game and uh, yeah it's that's why i had a pretty good win here let's take a look at the leaderboard now um i believe i should be in top 400s or maybe 300s at this point okay i'm still at 522 i expected better but this is not bad either um i am moving in the right direction and with a few more wins i will be in the top 100 although the season does end in almost two weeks but i think i have time to make to catch up to it um anyway bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye